starting trying to get ah uh, are we live wow we did this uh, awesome hi guys i thought i'd come on and do a facebook live finally after long last i want to announce a few cool things that i'm doing right now uh one of them as i'm building courses um uh, that is i'm doing i did just launched a photoshop course and i'll get more into that in a few minutes uh if you go to terry etc dot com t-e-r-r-i etc dot com you will find me there um on that one i have uh i'm starting i take my classes from that i work at uh, that i teach at marist and i'm actually building them and putting them online i've had so many requests from people saying hey i really want to take your course but you can't get in sorry <laughs> it's okay so this time you'll be able to get in uh i've broken it up into pieces so it's not all one big chunk and uh, we'll see where that's going to go. Uh, I decided to do this because a lot of people have been asking. And I also know how, what a nightmare it is to learn like Photoshop and Illustrator and all that on like tutorials from like YouTube. Uh, you got to go backwards and forwards and all that. My students complain about that because when I started, I had very little time to build uh, tutorials. So I was forcing them to go through video tutorials. Very hard. So I've converted them into written with pictures, you know, real easy, step by step by step by step. So you can go through with complete success. And I have demos. Yes, I just started those. My students will be very happy next semester because they have the demos without having to be in class when I'm there. They can just review it. So anyway, that started. So if you go on Terry, etc. com, that's there. The other thing I want to talk about today is Ascended Owl. Ascended Owl is the other venture that I'm starting. And basically, this comes out of uh, my little spiritual journey that I've been going on, probably since I dropped off onto the planet. And uh, I've gotten through a lot of baloney and et cetera, et cetera. And what I'm doing with the Senate Owl is putting some of that stuff out there. I'm ultimately going to build courses on that. Uh, you can uh, like the Ascended Owl page. That would be really cool. And go on there and check it out that particular website. I have been pulling runes as, uh, you know, as opposed to tarot, I do runes. I have my own rune set that I built by myself, which is very cool. And I'm finally allowing myself to do readings for other people on it. Because basically, you know, hey, it's my rune set. Why should I read for other people? But I decided it's a value to hoax and uh, I've got a lot of good responses on it. So I'm actually opening up and starting to do that. So if you are interested in rune readings, if you go to ascendedowl.com, uh, I do have rune readings if you go to the Owl Shop. I also want to announce what's on the Owl Shop. I've become an affiliate through for Hay House and Amazon, and I've pulled together stuff that I feel is really great for helping you spiritually, uh, anxiety-wise, or whatever it is that's going on with you. So I put together as many of those things as I can, and I'm going to continue to add to that. So go through there and click through, and you're going to find a lot of stuff. Some of the books I pulled out are old ones that I had that were really helpful, um, and some of them you'll have to get, like, you know, they're out of print. But for the most part, I got a lot of cool things on there. So, oh, I see Melinda and Diane, and who else is on here? Oh, my goodness. Wow, look at all these people. Hey, gang, what's up? Donna, Melinda, Diane, Lisa's here. Um, who else is here? Oh, now I just screwed up things. So I can't see. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing this, and this thing is, is mounted on uh, those little clips. So if you suddenly pop off and fly and land on the floor, that's what it is. And this big mess behind me, that's my bird structure. So I know it looks gross. I should have done this in my Zen room, but that keeps them out of there. That's um, that's Alex. Alex the Gray. Uh, Albus is in the other room. He doesn't realize I'm on I'm on screen. Once he figures that out, he'll fly down and we'll we'll have Albus. Albus! Come on! We'll see. We'll see if he shows up. So anyway, I want to talk about my courses a little bit. Um basically if you go on to my um what is it? My Terry, etc. I'm doing two things at once. Always a bad scene. <laughs> You go on to the uh, Terry Center and then you can click through. The first two modules are free. So you can go through there. It teaches you about file formats and things like that. It gives you a little quiz. Very cool. 
Uh, and then it goes through a whole series of tutorials that will build your Photoshop skills. So if you have no clue about what to do with Photoshop, it'll walk you through it. It also gives you how to do from back and forth between Mac and PC, depending on where you are. I mean, I do most of my work for Mac, so it's kind of Mac based, but it's really easy to translate it. And even my students are. And even if you are one of those people who says, I can't do this stuff because I am computer illiterate. Believe me, I have people who don't know one end of the mouse and the other, and they think that it belongs outside in a trap. So <laughs> I managed to get them through. I can get anyone through. And I was going to start this earlier today. I actually taught today, so that usually exhausts me because I don't put up my nice energy fields because I let everybody in like a schmuck. So I was really tired. So here I am. I've got my, I got my coffee and um, the little image is gone by now, so I don't have the little swirly to post on Facebook like I've been doing. So anyway, anyone interested in having a rune read? Because I'm going to read a rune, so I'll pick one for somebody if someone writes in the chat room that yes, they want a rune. And uh, I will pull for my Serenity runes. That there's not, that's not the full deck. These are lighter runes than some of the heavy duty guys. So if anyone wants to write a rune, have a rune read, just let me know. Type it in the chat room and hopefully I can see it. And uh, this, since this is the first time that I've done this. So who would like a rune? Anyone? Oh, here comes Albus. Come in. Albus, come here. Green! Green bird, come on. Let's go. He's he's ticking down the hallway. I'd move this thing, but I'd knock it over for sure. So, where's my chat? My viewers. Come on, where's my chat? I don't, okay. La, la, la. I don't know what I'm doing with this. Well, I see people involved. Oh, here we go. I think if I press that. No, that isn't going to help me much. I'm looking for your comments. <laughs> Are you guys writing anything? <laughs> of course. I'm definitely going to have to edit this later. Anyway, let's pull a rune for Diane Williams and see what we got going for her. All right, let me pull my rune. Oh, here comes a bird. Ooh, this is a good one. This is... This is the rune for joy. Ta-da! That's probably reading backwards for you, which is, it would be like, it looks like the letter P. Um, these are amethyst runes, which are really nice. So, joy. Joy is a really good one to pick. This is a, this is the rune of uh, joy and of serenity and being at peace with things and uh, counting your blessings. It's basically, that's what you're trying to do. Count your blessings. Um, Look for those pieces of joy in your life. You take time today to nourish yourself and take care of, of your human needs. We don't give ourselves enough rest. Uh, I know I'm, you know, I don't, I don't do the rest thing. So take care of yourself. And basically you can use the serenity prayer, prayer that says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things that I can and the wisdom to know the difference. So this is a rune of not only joy and reflection, but also wisdom. So you're able to step back and look at what's going on with your life and take count for your blessings and relax and joy. So how's that sound? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's grab another rune. Donna Paglia, would you like a rune? I'm going to make you a rune. Let's see. I still want to be able to see if I'm not seeing your comments. I'm not quite picking that up. <clears throat> I'm just going to type this in. If I post that, maybe the comments will come up. Oh, here we go. I got them. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to pull one for Donna. Let's see. Let's see if I pull my runes. Come here, Albus. Albus. Let me grab the parrot. There he is. This is Albus. He's my troublemaker. You want to pick a rune for me? Hmm? He will pick runes. He actually picks them and he throws them on the floor. Let's see. What are we going to grab for Donna? 
Ooh. Oh, oh, she gets the Odin rune. There is absolutely nothing written on the Odin rune. Where's that? There we go. Can we see that? Get the camera to focus on it. That's the Odin rune. <coughs> that one is, um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> That's like the God divine rune. That's the rune of the unknowable. So, <coughs> excuse me. Of course, I'm going to start hacking. I should have my coffee. It'd be a good idea. Mm. This is this is when you connect with your divine. Use this rune in to connect with the, with your divine self and really go in deep and really meditate on that. And you seek for what answers that you're looking for. This is an excellent rune for um, considering your perspective in the world and like really redefining yourself. So if you're connecting with this, you're going to have the answers that you're looking for. It's a, a excellent sign. <sighs> so we're basically talking about, yes, I know, I see you. So this rune actually is uh, in, it's also called the unknowable rune. So unknowable meaning that we don't know our divine selves, but we're turning inward to learn that. So you are obviously on a spiritual journey. So keep get in deep with that and see where it goes. And, oh well, awesome. Oops. Let's see what else is going on there. Yup, oh, she's gonna try. Good. <laughs> Tom Collins. Tom Chase. I'm sorry. Tom Chase is here. Awesome. <clears throat> Let's give Tom a rune here. Tom does a lot of healthy working out. He's always posting that online. Let's see. Ooh, this one is acceptance. Oh, thanks, Albus. Please. This is what I put up with all day long. This is the rune of acceptance. Now, find my camera over here. There it is. Little chevron thing there going on. This is rune of acceptance. acceptance. Basically, when you're examining your life and you may be in a point where you're not really happy with things that are going on, you know, step back from that and just kind of come in, <coughs> come at it from a place of acceptance. And this is a point where if you <clears throat> if you surrender to it, it'll fall away, and the lessons that you need are going to come through, and you're going to ha it's going to help you tremendously. <clears throat> I must have inhaled a bird feather or something. It gets a little messy over here. So anyway, this is a the sec, uh, the sorry the acceptance room is basically one of blessings and, and things. So there is a and all the lessons that we run through, uh, all these really great lessons come through and they teach you something really deep. So Tom, think about what's coming on in your life that's showing you what you've learned and. Uh, where you can go from there because it's going to open up some new good things for you. So that's pretty cool. Who else wants a rune here? Maria. I think Maria needs a rune, right? Melinda's laughing. <laughs> Pavel's here. Oh my God. Pavel wants to be done. Let me do Maria first and I'll do Pavel. Pavel. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what Maria's going to come up with. Ooh, she's got acceptance too. There it is again. Dun dun dun. <coughs> yep. Let's see how we can read it from Maria's perspective here. <clears throat> Let me tune in a little here. Ooh, major blessings are coming your way, Maria. Major blessings. Keep a keep a look out for them. You've been through a few odds and ends that have probably upset your apple cart a little bit. But this is the foundation for something good to come through. So pay attention to that. Look for those good little things that are that are on the on the horizon there. Um, the other name for this root is Kano, actually. That's the official name for it. I've been wanting to say that, but I haven't gone in there. So acceptance is also about self-appreciation. Bring them on camera. Yes, rune. Rooney, Rooney, Rune. There we go. There it is. It's about self-acceptance. Now, this is another big thing. And, and Tom, you probably want to tune into this too. Self-acceptance is something that we just don't do really well. And um, this rune actually says, hey, 
start accepting yourself, start loving yourself for who you are because we're all these wonderful people. We don't realize how great we are because this, our little world here is beating us down so badly. And that's one of the reasons I actually started to send it out because I really want to bring people up because we've been in the dregs for so long. There's been so much going on uh, through our whole culture, through our countries and countries and the earth and this and that. So once we start changing the, how we feel about that stuff and changing how, we're, how we be in the world, we're, we're going up. Okay. And Pavo is going to, we're going to rune read Pavo. He's a buddy of mine from Mastering Alchemy. I do Mastering Alchemy with Jim Self. And um, that's been a huge help for me. It's made me a lot more zen than I used to be. I was a raving lunatic for a long time. So I'm now lesser than a lunatic than <laughs> I was before. I still lunatize. Not always. Okay, this one's calling me for Pavo. No, oh, acceptance again. I've been turning these things around too, so... There we go. Can we see it? Well, here's the whole pile. There's only five in the within the Serenity block. I didn't want to do the big rune reading because that becomes like this giant issue. And when I do the big rune readings, I like to spend a long time just kind of reflecting and, and pulling in the energies. Okay. Pavo, quiet your heart. And like really get into your serenity, go in deep. I think that's what's good. You got something's troubling you and you're kind of caught in the funk. So look at your present situation. If you haven't been able to solve it, step back from that and then allow it to come forward. And you know what to do because you, you, you do what I do. So, <laughs> so get into your Zen spot and like really, really appreciate yourself. Look into your good stuff. Because uh, you got it going, pal. Okay, who else needs a rune reading? Let me turn back the clock here. Bum, bum. Oh, everyone loves Albus. Of course. Yeah, you guys don't live with him. He's a pain in the ass. He really is. That's Alex. He's the other pain. He's the ass hat. I, had a, I have the vacuum cleaner in front of the bathroom door to keep him out of there because he's afraid of it. <laughs> he's a piece of work. Uh, lo I love my birds, but they're, they're a piece of work. All right, who wants a rune? Let me see, I'm looking for an answer for someone who really, really wants me to pull a rune for them. Na, 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 na. Okay. I made what myself? Oh, uh, these runes I did not make myself. My other ones I made myself. I made some out of clay. Actually, I'll, let me grab, I'll grab one of those. Okay. The, these are the ones I made. They're from. They're made out of stoneware. I don't think you can see that. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on those suckers. Come on, camera, corporate. There we go. That's one. Oh yeah, here X marks the spot. There you go. <laughs> so I got. These are a little heftier. I made them with my with my hands and stuff. So they they have a really good symbol symbol symbolic connection with me which obviously so let me see who does who wants a reading da, da, da. I did Pavel now I know why everyone scrolls through this and stares oh it's very appropriate good Pavel I'm excited ah you are surprised I'm always surprised too because I, I do these readings and people go wow that's that really works and I'm like really <laughs> so I here I get, here's self-appreciation. <laughs> I it took me a while to trust myself to do these, do this for other people. So this is kind of new for me. Um, far as I'm concerned, you know, I can ruin ring for myself and I'm, you know, I usually find it spot on. I actually have a, oh, the goddess tarot deck with, from, uh, Doreen Virtue actually had that for a long time and, and I pull that and I'm all, it's always spot on with the readings. It's like, it's scary. So basically what happens, I think, from my standpoint, my, my philosophy is, is the higher self comes through and it will connect with your higher self and bring the information, guide me in which one to grab, and then I do the reading. And that's how it rolls. So anyway, I'm going to cut this short, I think, because I think we've had a few. Is there anyone else who wants a rune reading?
Who wants one? Tinner wants one. Let's get Tinner one. I haven't seen I haven't seen Tinner in a while, and she just showed back up on Facebook. Let's see. Let's toss my runes around. Okay. Ooh, this is a good one. Da da da. This one is Thurisaz. That's the name of this guy. It looks like a P with an extension on the top. This is pretty cool. This is wisdom. Wisdom. Very important. Okay. This is part of your journey or your spirit. So you are on a path here and your wisdom is your map. You got to listen to your intuition. You got to follow that carefully. Listen through your heart. Don't listen through your mind. Only through your heart because your heart's really going to tell you what's going down. So follow that journey and pull it back from a higher perspective. You know, if you... If you're looking at a big mess in front of you, step back from that. And look at it from the higher perspective. You're going to learn a lot from that, and you're going to come out like 10 times stronger. So roll with it. Follow your soul. Follow your heart. Always follow that. That's the best. That's probably the best guidance I can give you, actually. <laughs> if you want to do anything, listen to this thing. Don't listen to that thing. That thing is insane. Trust me. I spent a lot of time negotiating that little nasty thing. Okay, Darren is watching. Hey, Darren, you want a rune read? I worked with Darren at the hellhole. <laughs> He's partly responsible for getting me out of there. Thank you. <laughs> so let's get Darren a rune reading. We'll see what's what, whether he's going to be real zen today. He's got two kids at home, so I know that he's not particularly zen. So let's what zen. Darren has got... Ah! Here we go again. Wisdom. All right. Let me see if I can pull this in from Darren's perspective. Okay. Mm, you're growing with life's lessons. That's what you're doing right now. Um, watch those lessons. Listen, listen to your guidance system. When, like, like again, I said, listen from your heart. Uh, you're gonna. You need to use your wisdom and to walk through things carefully. Take a look at it from, step back from it, from another perspective. Um, acceptance is important with this. And use your creativity to work around through things. And that's going to make a big difference with whatever that's going down with you. So this is, this is, a, good, this is a good rune when, for taking a quiet bit of time and reflecting and just really going inside. So do that and hopefully that makes sense. Ooh, Lisa wants a rune. Let's rune up Lisa. We're going to go runing today. A little runology going down here. Let's see what Lisa's going to pick up here. Ooh, here we go. We're going to roll now. This is courage. Courage is one of those runes. It's the warrior rune. It can be a little bit like... But it's not like that at all. Basically, courage is... You're asked to step up and to face whatever's going on with you and to be strong. This is a rune of your strength. This is testing your strength. It's telling you to come step into your power and be the person that you are, that you truly are, because we're truly a lot stronger than we think we are. We think we're victims of the circumstance. You are not a victim. Do not come at it from that standpoint. Step up with courage and faith and you will walk through whatever's going down. So that's that's the story i mean there's times when we're like we're tested with um people are sick or things are going on or we're sick or there's a uh, financial difficulties in our life but if we just hold hold true and come through it we come through with such a strength and an understanding of how really powerful we really are so this is a rune of stepping into your power so have fun with that and enjoy it it's always a good thing and there's Alex. He's dancing back there. Come on, Alex. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. There he goes. <laughs> you see him in the background? <laughs> That's Alex. All right. Linda's here. Kathy is here. All right. Who wants a rune? I will pull a rune. I also want to... I want to mention again that I have my new Photoshop course on terryetc.com. Uh, I'm going to have Illustrator, InDesign. I'm going to build courses actually 
around specific things like uh, doing like a publication and newsletter so that you guys can like go on and take one that's specific to what you want to learn. This stuff is all going to be super helpful and it's, it's done in a way where it's going to be super easy for people to go through. And I'm doing this with like a few different price points. One, you can just go through it on your own. And you still have access to a Facebook group because I'm going to put you in on a Facebook group where I will come in and answer questions. Um, the second way you could do this is to do it as a full thing with, where you're having tutorial with me so that I'll have several different interactions with you. And so that can get you through that and help you out. And if you're not, you know, not secure in it, um, you could start it with the, the base price point. And then if you decide you're like, oh, my God, I need help, you can add on and get the extra help. But meanwhile, you're still supported with the Facebook group. And I want to do it that way because I want people to share their work. Uh, that's more fun than anything else because you can share your work and you can say, hey, look at what I did. Yay. My students love that. I do that with them at, with, the, with the class that I teach. So they're all excited now because they're coming down to the end of the wire. And yeah, <laughs> I've been grading like crazy. I hate it. I don't like grading stuff. That doesn't, mean it doesn't resonate. That's why I want to do online courses. I don't have to grade them. I can just kind of help people and point them and make their stuff better. That's what I, That's all I really want to do. All right, let's give, let's read Kathy your own reading. I've known Kathy for a long time. Speaking of publications, yeah, she works with the Hudson Valley News Network. Let's see, let's pull a rune for Kathy. Oh, acceptance. Always a good rune. We're going to grow back to acceptance again. Let's see if I can pull it from Kathy's perspective. Um, this is a rune of blessings, blessings received and blessings just bestowed. Um, it's also a rune of accepting where you are and being able to hold, hold steady. Um, it, it's self acceptance. You gotta, we don't love ourselves as much as we should. And you give yourself the time to rest, honor your body. If you don't honor your body, your body's going to buck and just like my horse would <laughs> <laughs> so honor your body, take care of yourself, and uh, be in a place of self-acceptance and take in those blessings because they will come to you as you will feel really good and you will be able to be in a clear space to make awesome decisions. So that's the rune. That's Kano. Excellent rune to have. So let me see. Who else needs a rune today? And also visit AscendedL.com. Yes, I got a lot of good stuff on there. I got a lot of old books and things that I, I marked out that you you know that you guys should read. Um, a couple, of, I think there's one of them that's out of print, <laughs> and I put it up there because it was a cool book. So I, I try to give everyone as much information about that and help you guys on your journeys. Let's see. All right. Yay. Okay. Abby. Abby is watching. Okay, let's... Oh, you want the birds on camera? Yeah, Albus is actually, for the first time, avoiding the scene. Let me grab him again. Come here. Step up. There you go. That's Albus. <laughs> He's got his little red wings. He chews himself underneath a little bit. He's um, at the point where he really wants a girlfriend. <laughs> Brrr. Come on. Brrr. Ring. Who didn't talk for me? Brrr. Ring. He's going to play footsie. Okay. One potato, two potato, three potato, four, five, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. Yay. There he is. When I, we first got him, the first, when he figured out how to tur eat up, turn upside down, he would sit and eat upside down on his perch. <laughs> for, that was his thing to do. You can go up here. Let me grab Alex. Alex uh, is a persnickety little beast. Here he is. Come on. This is Alex. Alex DeGray. There we go. Dancing bird. He likes to do this. I don't pick him up by my fingers anymore. He likes my husband. My husband can do it, but usually he takes a good chunk out of me and I get tired of like losing fingers. So you good boy, Alex. Water bird. Water bird. There 
you go. <laughs> he does his water bird. So that's the parrots. And put him back. There you go. Come on. Oh no. Come on. All right. Stubborn. I now I can't get rid of him. <laughs> so now we're stuck with the birds. Okay. Anyone else want a rune reading? Everyone wants Albus. Yeah, you guys are something else. Waterbird! Waterbird! Come on, Alex. Waterbird! Waterbird! Come on! He's ignoring me now. He wants what he wants. It's getting close to supper time. So, anyway, that's the story about what's going down. Oh, you need a reading, Janet? Janie needs a reading. Let's give her, let's get a rune for Janie. Let's get my runes together. See if I can read runes and play with birds. If you come down and bite me, you're in a lot of trouble. Let's see. Ooh, come on. You go over here. Come on. Get up there. All right. This is a good one. It's the joy rune. Hunjo. The joy rune. Also, also serenity. Let's see. Let me see if I could tackle this to you here. Ah. This is a time for you to relax and enjoy yourself. Get into a nice quiet bath if you want or something where you can kick back and relax. Grab a cup of coffee, hot cocoa, whatever turns you on. And just get into a real place of serenity and enjoy yourself and nurture you. This is about nurturing you. So... That's the best thing to do. And um, this is a rune about patience and resting in the issues a little bit. So if you got anything going on, it's basically you, you want to sit back and get out of it and take care of you and like really get into your own focus. And then once you do that, then you're going to all of a sudden have the clarity to come out and make the real take the real decision to go to the right path or the left path whatever you need to do so it'll help it'll help with clarity for you so good room for that <clears throat> Rhonda needs a rune Rhonda needs a rune okay let's rune up Rhonda let me put that one back in there we roll those around <clears throat> Ooh, what's this one? Oh boy here we go again this one this is wisdom wisdom is happening for you Okay, it's been said that wisdom is a map to follow the journey of the spirit. You're following the journey of your spirit, so really look into that. This is about listening to your heart, getting into your heart center, and focusing from that. Um, whatever you have going on in your life, if you step back and you get into your heart center, you will find the real guidance. And there goes Albus. When I'm on any Skype or anything. He's always back and forth a million times. It's really annoying. So anyway, let me get back to tuning into that. Yeah, so get back into your heart center and really, really feel out what you need to do. And as you relax into that, you're going to make the absolute right decisions and it's going to come through for you. So how's that sound? Life is good jar of cookies. <laughs> Okay, I think I got everyone. All right, anyone else want a rune reading? Let's see. Bum bum. I know this is annoying when I do this, but hey, life is really hard. <laughs> Okay, how about Gabriella? Would you like a rune? Let's do a rune for you. What are you doing, Albus? Come on. Go. Oh. Joy. Life is good. Joy. Get into your serenity space. And, <clears throat> excuse me. If I could find this. Yes, get into your serenity space. Um, count your blessings, get really into your blessings, and think about all the good things you have going on. It's just about gratitude for you. Um, really feel into your soul and just say, hey, all these things are great. This is about you and how wonderful you are, and really counting on all the good qualities that you have. 
you got to really focus on taking care of nurturing yourself your self-worth because you are worthy and you have it going and pay attention to that and don't let anything else tell you otherwise get into your heart center and know what's true so how's that sound hopefully that sounds good <laughs> okay all right gang that sounds good I think I'm going to wrap this up because I've been yapping for a while and since I was basically running out of coffee here, I will probably need to go off and make some more. So thank you guys for coming on. I really appreciate it. And um, check out AscendedOwl.com. And if you were interested in my Photoshop class, and there's going to be more classes as I, you know, what, now that school's ending, I'll have some time to spend on building the rest of them. Uh, so um, check out Terry, etc. com, Terry, etc. com, or send it out, A S C E N D E D L L, whatever, something like that. And like the Ascended Owl page. And you can go to Terry Garofalo Design. Um, on Terry, etc., I actually do, will do some graphic design for people if you were interested. Um, I don't do a lot of that right any, anymore. I'm actually very picky about my clients at this point. And uh, so if you are interested and you really need to do some work, um, you can always hit me up there. So I'll see you guys later and thanks for coming on. Have a great one and rune out. And if you want rune readings, yeah, Ascended Al, rune readings. They're there. Talk to you soon. Bye.